Hi guys, this is Sunil Kamath, the DevOps guy. Today I'll be talking about Jenkins pipelines. What exactly is a pipeline and how to implement a pipeline. In my previous video, I've talked about creating jobs. So we have created this job. We had created Jenkins Maven. Okay. And in this job, what we did was uh, we used the uh, java repository java project repository and build it using maven and also we did a post build action same thing we'll do using jenkins pipeline today all right uh, this is the official documentation of jenkins so pipeline provides an extensible set of tools for modeling simple to complex delivery pipelines as a code so pipelines for me pipelines is nothing but a it's a job as a code or it, it has multiple uh, advantages one thing being it's a code so it gives teams an ability to edit review and iterate among upon their delivery pipelines okay it is durable possible versatile extensible okay so you will get a better idea of pipeline if you implement it instead of i explaining it i'll implement it all right so let me open this uh, my previous job in a different tab and uh, I will create a new job using pipeline and I will try to replicate the same the same thing what we did here we'll do using pipelines okay so new tab I'll choose a pipeline project and I will name it as uh, pipeline job Cool. Here, as you see, as you can see, you won't see in in a freestyle project. You you used to see these all tabs. You used to see source code management, build trigger, build environment, build and push build actions. But in pipelines, you'll just see build triggers and advanced options, and then there is pipeline. Let's click on pipelines. Here, you see, all you have to write is a script. It's a groovy script. It, see as you can see it gives groovy sandbox but you don't luckily you don't have to know groovy if you know groovy it's good i believe it's very similar to java i don't know java i don't know groovy so i would go with pipeline syntax instead so it it has sample steps and options and then you can generate the pipeline script and you can paste it in the pipeline so the first step being the first thing we have to do is copy the raw repository in your workspace so this is the repository uh, it's a git repository let's search for git there are multiple options you can explore i know what options to use you have to explore it to know what all options to use very simple very uh, obvious so uh, for repositories gets so it it name starts with git so you can actually search it's pretty obvious so repository name url so you don't have to worry about uh, credentials because because it's a public repository generate pipeline script cool this is it second step what's the next second step second step being maven clean package let's use a shell shell script so it has to do maven clean package generate pipeline so this is sh maven clean pipeline one thing we are missing here we have to actually cd to a particular directory we have to cd to a as you can see here we have to actually cd to uh, we have to go to this location right the examples folder let's go to the example folder folder so directory change directory to the path example 
see. So it's a block. You hide. You have to. So it's pretty obvious. You have to place this thing inside this block because it will get in the block and execute this shell script. Cool. Then what next? So we have git. Then there is directory. We got into the example directory and then we ran maven clean package. Okay. So next being post build actions. Again, you have to get into targets directory. Let me copy it. Right. So this is the directory you have to get in. And you have to write some block here. What is it you want to do? Archive. Archive artifacts. What is it you want to include? Star dot jar because you are already in that folder. So you don't have to worry. So instead of do doing this, anyways, we are in example folder. So we can probably skip this block and we can use this archives here itself. What's it? We can use it here. Instead of star or jar, we can use target. Cool. Then I think you are understanding. See uh, what we did was in this directory it is anyways changing it to example. So you you get into the example directory, you run Maven clean package, and then there then you archive it. Archive you to archive you have to get into target folder and start dot jar. All right. So this is pretty much it. They should do the job. Any are we missing any steps here? Not really. Cool. So let's try to run it. Let's build it. Build now. This is failing. Let's see why. Perhaps you can surround the code with that provides such as node all right so this is something I have not explained you this I will be explaining you in upcoming videos okay so the thing is Jenkins works as a uh, master and slave uh, master slave model wherein so in in our example so far what we have used is we we are running we are executing the See, our workspace are getting created on the same master server. Okay, this is the master server on which you are in which year where Leap Jenkins workspace. So here the workspace is getting created. We can what we can also do is we can create a couple of two or three slaves and we can instruct a job to run execute these whatever the packaging or building on those servers as well okay so i will be having a different video wherein i will be setting up i will be explaining you what uh, master slave is and how to set up a slave for now we just include a it as a master node okay so you will get to know about it let me get back to the project and configure pipelines i will just add see here if you go and if you see node i'll just turn it on 
so it's just you have to add everything under node block okay so i will add it So I will save it, build now, so this should build it successfully. Yes, now this is successful. You can see started by Sunil and it has created within itself the, on the master server itself it has uh, created a workspace pipeline job and it executed everything cool so if if it is a master slave thing you have to change the node uh, node thing as well as this will run on a different slave which as i said i will be explaining later one more thing i want i want you to uh, observe here so here I you can see large successful artifacts it has created recent changes and everything it has created there's a something called a stage view a pipeline can run successfully but does not define any stages so it ran successfully but uh, it didn't uh, so you can actually create different stages within the pipeline so so if i configure it now that it is successful okay I, I hope you got a basic understanding of how pipeline is, how pi job pipelines are created. But I will show you one more additional thing called a staging. So if you configure, if you go to pipeline, we can actually have a stage of, let's say, it will copying a repository. Let's, we can call this as a stage one. Then there is uh, uh, for May one, uh, clean package we can have a stage 2 and for this we can have it as a stage 3 all right so let's search for stage let me give a download repo generate pipeline so again it's a block you can actually add it here followed by let it add it here so similarly for uh, packaging also you can create a new stage for package All right. and you can also have it for archive So oh, this looks pretty complex now, but it does the job. So stage one would be git thing, stage two would be maven package, then archiving. Let's see how it looks now. Let me build it again. Wow, this looks good, right? You see here? this portion it's almost complete see it, it it has divided the job into three parts wherein so downloading a report took 575 milliseconds maven package took 9 seconds and archiving took 16 milliseconds cool and it also shows logs here if you click here it shows logs particularly for git download 
here it shows it for uh, shell script uh, maven clean package and here it shows for archiving it cool so th this actually looks good so uh, that's all for me so today we uh, uh, replicated a freestyle project into a pipeline we got, we got to know what know uh, what how to create a, a ruby syntax uh, using pipe pipeline syntax you don't actually need to know ruby and then we also know, got to know about staging all right so in my uh, next video probably i will do a session on uh, master slave settings in jenkins okay that's all for me thank you